Hey guys, Justin here from Small World Gaming again. Uh, it's Friday the 13th. Uh, I don't know why that's important or why I felt the need to say that, but that's what today is. So <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with our video today, though. We're uh, I just wanted to talk about Kill Team a little bit more. I uh, got a bit more info, not a ton, so this will be a short video again. But I was watching the live stream with Duncan and Peach and the other lady. I, I, I apologize. I don't remember her name. I know she's on the, the Warhammer TV team now and doing most of the live streams. But uh, I don't tend to watch a lot of those. But they were talking about building your kill teams and different things that you could do. So they did. Uh, although they said at the beginning of the video that they were not going to leak any rules or anything in the book, they did leak a few things. Uh, so I just want to talk about a couple of the things they mentioned and uh, what that might mean for the game. So the first point that kind of came across during the live stream was that uh, if you're playing a match play game, the max amount of points or what would be a standard game would be 100 points. So what they didn't mention though was is that 100 points in the kill team format or is that 100 points directly from a warhammer 40k point system so is this Skatari ranger still seven points and his gun zero for example is a space marine veteran still 18 or whatever it may be death watch guys are they 19 you know I, i'm not sure what the points are right off the bat but um is it 100 points from 40k or is it a completely different point system that was not brought up if it's 100 points from 40k it would kind of make sense uh due to what they uh, another thing they also mentioned is that your kill teams are going to range from anywhere from three guys all the way up to 20 guys you can never have more than 20 guys however on your kill team roster for your campaign or whatever you may be doing you could have as many guys as you want because you can just switch them in and out so you can have five leaders on there, for example, even though in the game kill team, you can only have one leader on the board, uh, but you can constantly be switching people out between your games. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, 20 guys. Now, what armies are actually gonna have 20 guys in a 100 point game? So one that you could think of was Tyranids. Uh, the, the lady mentioned that she had built a 20 man Tyranid team, and I'm guessing that's all Gaunts. Uh, you could also do Cultists. The, you could put a 20 man Cultist team in a 100 point game so if you want to kind of figure out what the points are on that uh, but another guy uh, Duncan said he was also making a death watch kill team and that his kill team was five death watch veterans and that he could with the points depending on what weapons he gave him put in a sixth guy uh, in his death watch kill team and be at 100 points he said he could even give him a thunder hammer maybe and that's what I he he had planned to do was do that uh, so uh, definitely some interesting information uh, 100 points is a normal match play game 20, 20 uh, models is the max and, and to me 20 seems like a lot for kill team uh, I, I could be wrong here but they're not playing it on a 4x4 four 4x4 four, uh, four foot, four foot board or table they're only playing it on a 22x30 so that's uh, less than 2 feet by a little bit more than 2 feet that's not a lot of space for, let's say both you, me and you each have a 20 man kill team um, and it's alternating activations, guy per guy per guy. Like that's not a lot of space. And I feel like it would take a long time to play with 20 models in that in that kind of format, but who knows. Um, tonight, I think I'm gonna be working on uh, getting some of my kill teams ready. So uh, I, the two that I'm gonna be starting our videos with, we're gonna be uh, recording videos hopefully before the games comes out so that uh, we can have those ready once the game launches and I can post those here on YouTube. Uh, I do believe my store is getting a, uh, an early copy of the game, so I should have the rule book and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working on my Carcaridon, so Space Marines. Now I am keeping it a little bit fluffy so there will be no Primaris Marines. I know you can bring Intercessors and Reavers in a Space Marine kill team, but it is just gonna be Scouts and uh, Tax Squad guys uh, with heavy weapons and things like that. And then uh, my Skatari Rangers and Vanguard. Now they said you can use Rust Talkers and Infiltrators. Um, I don't know if I really want to. I own both of them. I own both of those boxes and they are built. So uh, we'll see what we'll see what it looks like when the uh, the book comes out and we can see all the points and, and how all those guys play. 
But uh, I'm going to be working on putting together a bunch of Vanguard heavy weapon guys because I have all those bits and I haven't used them. Uh, and I already have like 30 Rangers that are built and painted, so uh, I think those will be ready to go. But I don't have any Vanguard. I converted them all from Vanguard to Rangers, so I got to convert a few back. I've got to put some heavy weapons on some guys, so I'll be cutting up some things for sure tonight. Uh, uh, I might get a game of 40k in it. I, I don't know, but I was kind of excited to get these kill teams going. So, uh, what kill teams are you guys planning on using? Uh, do you guys have any ideas for some cool conversions? That was the other really neat thing about the stream, was that Duncan and Peach uh, showed off a lot of really cool converted kill teams. So they had already built some in preparation for the game launching. Uh, Duncan had his like Imperial Knight uh, retinue, essentially. Uh, Peach had an entire Dark Eldar slave kill team, so it was basically uh, models from like, every different army that were all slaves fighting from the Dark Eldar. He also had his regular Dark Eldar witch kill team, which was really neat. And then he had a really cool converted uh, Astra Militarum, like, uh, I don't know, I don't remember the name he used them, but they all have feathered hats and everything, and those looked really cool as well. He had some Admech guns in there different things so kill team is definitely a really good opportunity to get some good painting skills painting time in and uh conversions if that's something you want to do i don't think i'm going to be doing much of that except for the carcaridons all of my my full carcaridon army and every model is 100 percent converted they are built to be the third company from the books and uh sorry uh so they're a mix of like Mark III, Mark IV, Mark V Marines. I've got Vanguard vet bits in there. There's a lot of stuff going on in those kits, and I'll hopefully be able to show them off when that kill team is done uh, here, in, here in the next week or two. So I look forward to seeing what you guys have. Let me know what you guys are planning to play with, and we'll be getting those kill team videos rolling out as soon as we can. Thanks, guys. Talk to you again next time. Bye.